Hi, I'm Alex Bellis with IHS Automotive, and today we're here with the 2013 Lexus GS350 with the latest version of N-Form as well as Remote Touch. Now this vehicle is positioned well to go head-to-head -head with the BMW 5 Series as well as the Audi A6 and Infiniti M37. Now with the latest version of Inform, you get an app suite that includes things like Facebook Places, Yelp, Pandora, Bing Searches, and MovieTickets.com, as well as a few other features. So let's take a look inside and see how this system works. Now inside the Lexus, among the swaths of leather and nice wood trim, is the crown jewel, which is this 12.3 inch display cluster, which is driven by the latest version of Lexus's remote touch. Now with this latest version of Inform, you get a lot of similar features to Intune in the Camry and other Toyota vehicles, but you also get Facebook places for check-ins, as well as Yelp, which gives you restaurant reviews. And also in the Lexus, we have a USB port for iPod integration, as well as this wonderful CD-DVD head unit that also features AM, FM, and XM radio, and HD radio. And all of these audio sources sounded great on the standard 12-speaker audio system. However, we wish we could have had the 17-speaker Mark Levinson system. Now with all these features, there's also voice recognition, which we found to work pretty well most of the time. However, it did have some issues with entering addresses and things like that. In addition to the haptic controller here, you can also use voice recognition to control all of these functions. And we found that the voice recognition for the phone and stereo and navigation systems worked well. And the text-to-speech re would read back your emails and text messages to you. Now, while this version of Inform features a number of different apps, we had some difficulty getting them to work, especially things that required logins such as Pandora and Facebook. However, we did really like Yelp and OpenTable and movie tickets for looking at movie times and things like that. Additionally, there's a number of XM sourced apps like fuel prices, stocks, sports, things like that. Now I mentioned the 12.3 inch screen as the crown jewel of the interior, but in reality it's a little bit too distracting and there's just too much going on. It would be nicer to have a smaller screen here and another small screen within the instrument cluster to break up some of the information and to present the more driver centric features right in front of you. Now, with Gen 2 of Remote Link, they changed things up a little bit. There's no longer the two enter keys on the side of the controller, and instead it's built in with a push function right on top. There's still a menu button, and you can toggle up and down with this little button in the middle here, as well as a map display button next to that. And we like the way this worked, but there's a lot of scrolling back and forth on the screen simply because of its size. And we want a back button. So in addition to the telematics through Inform, such as eDestination, where you can send a location to the car, there's also Destination Assist, which is built in with the embedded telematics. Now this connects you to a live person who can help you navigate to your direction in a similar fashion to how OnStar works in GM vehicles. There's also Safety Connect, which features stolen vehicle locator, airbag notification, and maintenance notification, as well as SOS. Now, while a 2013 Lexus GS does not come standard with blind spot notification, there is a $500 option to have it tacked on. And you'll notice here that there's a little display in each of the mirrors that will show you an illumination if there's a car in your blind spot, and then if you try to turn on your blinker, there's no audible warning, but it does blink at you to let you know that there's someone there. Now as the rule goes in the mid-size luxury segment, you've got to pay to play, and at just under $60,000, the Lexus doesn't come cheap. However, compared to a lot of its rivals, it offers a pretty good bang for the buck. This car came equipped with the $6,500 luxury package, as well as the $1,700 hard drive based navigation system. Now for the audio files out there, you may want to pony out the $1,700 for the 17 speaker 835 watt Mark Levinson surround sound system, but the techies will surely love the remote touch because it feels just like a computer mouse. For more on this and other automotive reviews, check out IHS.com automotive.